Hello, yes, Joe Owens has Kensington and Fairfield councillors worried. That's right, the screenshot of the front was taken off the Kensington Residents Group Facebook page. It talks about two of the Kensington and Fairfield councillors, Wendy Simon, Liam Robinson, having a walk around, I think it was Molyneux Road, was it? Talking to local residents, listening uh, to some of the issues raised and I'm also made to believe there's going to be a follow-up meeting on the 16th of November regarding the issues raised and what action is to be taken that's going to be interesting I await that report you see Kensington Residence Group you live smack bang right in the middle of it all you know what's happening in Kensington and you know who's responsible for trashing Kensington and Fairfield and it's third world immigrants you know it is yet you're remaining silent when you go to these meetings where the councillors are why aren't you raising this thorny issue you know quite well what's happening and if you believe Wendy Simon and Liam Robinson can have a little walk around and they're only doing that because of my hard work in the area because they, they're getting worried now but if you believe their little walk around is going to solve things then you're in a dream world and you're in a bigger dream world if you believe you have uh, signs in eight or nine different languages put on the alley gates. The third worlders will stop dumping rubbish. Well, you know that hasn't happened. So that's been a waste of money and a waste of time, hasn't it? Well, of course, you see, Kensington now is being trashed by third world immigrants. And you know it is, right? The prostitution isn't going away. The dumping of rubbish is continuing. The rats are still everywhere, four-legged as well as two-legged variant. Uh, the crime is still uh, bad in the area. Nothing's going away and you know it's not. And instead of facing the cold light of day and reality, you're skating around everything. Well, listen, I'll give you something to worry about. I've got some amazing initiatives for 2019 when I can test the Kensington and Fairfield Ward again, right? I have got some amazing initiatives for next year's council elections. Trust me, I'll really have these councillors worried. Okay, thank you. I've just come straight from a meeting in the building behind me with the Kensington Community Association. And that's a group of people, there's about eight or nine of them I've just sat with for about an hour and listened to their stories about what is taking place in their area. They're all dreadfully unhappy with the state of things around here. They feel they've been totally forgotten about by everyone. And it's, there's been some really harrowing stories of constant crime, gangs of drug dealers on every corner, um, open prostitution. One woman told me that her little children now know what prostitutes are because they see them on the school run every day. Another shocking story of, of somebody openly defecating in, in their back alley. Uh, there's a lady there who's lived here for 35 years, loved the place, said it was the best community going now she's just sold her house and she can't wait to get away and that's the case for all of these people they feel they haven't got a voice um, none of them actually were prepared to go on camera um, or give me their names because they're so scared of of the people around here of the gangs of the crime and they don't want any comeback on them because they're, they're frightened a lot of them are frightened to go out of their house um, particularly at night uh, they say there's a complete lack of community lots and lots of um, big houses and multiple lock